Hey everyone, welcome back. I am going to continue this little episode here and continue diving through some of my samples for all these incredible fragrances that I wanna check out and share with you. So if you wanna go on that little journey with me, stay tuned. So today I have here the stuff that Alan at the Beverly Hills Perfumery sent me when I ordered the Unuki Luxury. So he also sent me some Ormond Jane samples. So I wanna go over a few of those and then some more of the Unuki Luxury. So the first one I have here is Levant, which is bergamot, mandarin, tangelo, and rose petals at the top. I get that bright citrus for about four minutes. I sprayed these a second ago. And then I get that rose. Lily of the Valley, peony, orange blossom, jasmine. Wow, very like light white flower, florals there. In a cedarwood, amber musk. This is great in the summertime. This is very light. Um, I, I think I know what friend is gonna really like this one too. I know who's Allie, another creator, who's Allie, this is totally up. Yeah, it's a little too light for me, but um, if you're in hotter weather, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. This is if you have to work and you want something professional, but you're subjected to the outdoor heat somehow. This is a great, beautiful, work appropriate uh, scent also. It's very elegant. The next one, ooh, this one looks up my alley. Oh yeah, okay. This one is Damask. You know, I love blackcurrant. Somebody, uh, Danielle, you told me to check this out. This is, it's an opening with blackcurrant, Italian lemon and pear. Ha! Huh, hello, you're singing my song. In a heart of rose, jasmine, pink berries with a soul. I love how they say a soul for the bass notes. Mineral, amber, musk, and vetiver. This just reminds me of like summer on the French Riviera. This is so gorgeous and decadent yet airy that it can handle that heat. Wow. Oof. This is, yeah, this is summertime where you want something a little more tempered because it's warm out and you have that beautiful white flowy outfit on, but you want, so you want something more dressed up for nighttime. You know, you want to feel a little bit like elevated for the nighttime and going out to dinner or something with a little bit catchier fragrance, a little more intensity, but you still want to keep that air about it. This is so stunning. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. You have all that fruitiness in the opening and you know I love blackcurrant and I also love pear. It's another one that I just love how pear just kind of booms pink and berries. And I love a vanilla musk base. You know this too. This is an amber musk vetiver. The vetiver is a touch. It's not so much that it brings it masculine. Although this is, I mean, I could see this being unisex. Oh my goodness. The florals take the center stage, which is what gives it that airiness about it. But it's not just a floral because plain florals kind of bore me a little bit, I guess is the word. They just bore me. I don't know. Oh my. And I, ugh, it's got that feistiness of jasmine in there. I, uh, now we need to take this one for a ride. I think she needs to. This is incredible. This is that perfect summer fragrance I've been looking for that has has the presence without being ostentatious in the heat. Yeah, I kind of like this one. Thank you, Alan. You know me so well. Okay. Now that, gosh, that's captivating. So then we also have here Zandria. Rum. Oh, yes. And something woody. Rum, rosewood, apple, and then Ceylon cinnamon, 
tonka beans, dry amber, musk, guyac wood, and earthy accord. This is shockingly good. If you say those notes to me, I'm gonna be like, hmm, a little too wintry feeling for my taste. Probably gonna be very fall winter. But there's, well, there's something mysterious like about this one. Mysterious and elegant. That untouchable woman but has so much class, not just, you know, Hollywood untouchable. This is like the elegant woman everyone wants to know or admires. This is, the Gayak wooden here is so gorgeous and elegant. This is really good quality. This is incredible quality. I don't get too much cinnamon. I got it in the very beginning. I don't need more, which is good because you know I'm not a huge cinnamon fan. I only like it as a dusting in there. I don't like it to show its face too much. Mm. And the rum has settled down. This is not too boozy. It is just enough. That's It's ladylike. Oh my. Yeah, as the more it dries down, the more it blends together, settles down, and just creates this creation versus every little thing kind of blasting its name at you. It makes, and it's, it's, it's not, a, it doesn't strike me as a huge projector. I'm not wearing it. It's a strip, but there's something a little more demure about it with these rich, rich notes. It doesn't scream at all. Wow. Okay, this one is worth wearing as well. Oh my, my, my. Okay. All right, so let's take a look into Uniki. Oh, I wanted to check out the Mansara. He sent me two. I had heard about this juicy flowers. It smells like juicy flowers. I get a fruity juicy with some floral. The fruity juicy is on top and the floral is underneath it. So it's it's not this floral that's sweetened up. It's fruity, maybe a little powdery like. There's something giving a little fluff to it. My goodness, there are notes here. This is actually pretty good. I gotta admit, I am impressed again with a Mansara. That's two, wow. That's two Manseras that I just discovered that I am okay with. This doesn't smell overly um, synthetic to me, which is kind of nice. Red fruits, citruses, pear, pink pepper. Okay, that's why I like it. Middle notes, rose, peach, sandalwood, jasmine in a base of white musk, raspberry, ambergris, and vanilla. It's all those fruits. You know I love fruits. You know I love sweets. I love sweets. There's always sweets in the kitchen but it has that vanilla, powdery, musky with the white florals. This is really pretty. I gotta admit, I actually kinda like this one. I found a Mansara that I like aside from Oud Orchid. Pretty cool. I think that came out in 2020 or 2021. One of those, oh, let me look. 2020, yeah. So let's check out Let's dive into another, I'm dying to like go through this kit. So go through it with me. And by the way, I went through Hidden Accords two videos ago and I'm, I, I can be a little obtuse at times. So hello, duh, Hidden Accords makes sense. I kept saying that the vanilla and orange flower were this duo that was prominent, but there's all this other stuff fleshing it out. Hello, Hidden Accords. So it is that duo, but there's all these hidden accords kind of dancing around it, flashing, kind of taunting and teasing you that you can't quite get a grip of what they are. But in the same token, I haven't worn it. I've had it on strips. I've had it around me. I've watched it dry down, but I haven't worn it. And a lot of times when you wear it, you can get better acquainted with those accords. So I'm looking forward to wearing that one for sure. It's um, very, very, it's up my alley. It's got a creaminess to it, but it's not entirely like Love Don't Be Shy. It's similar because it has that duo in it, 
but it doesn't have that marshmallow creaminess. Just wanted to clarify that. Let's see, what's another one I haven't tried here? Um, Izmir sounds really good. Pineapple, rose, orris, clove, tonka bean. Oh, okay, come to mama, let's try you. Ooh, yeah, I get that pineapple, but um, a little bit more of a masculine kind of way, like an Aventus kind of way in that it's um, a brighter, citrusier, like, um... oh, this is elegant. Oh, oh, I would, oh, I would really like this on a man or a woman, but Oh, this is a man. Oh, we're going to the country club wearing this. Oh, yeah. We're wearing a golf shirt and sport jacket with this very refreshing, elegant fragrance. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. This, this smells very upper echelon. Certain words I hate using. This smells very upper echelon. Pineapple, rose. I'm not getting that rose. I'm getting, oh my. It's, it almost has like a vetiver in there. It's, it opens very much like the Aventus with the pineapple and the vetiver and the citrus kind of a way. And then it, it kind of gets a little like deeper, like richer and richer. Like it thickens up a little bit. Or starts to come in. Tonka starts to cream it out. Oh my goodness. But that pineapple seems to really stick around. Holy cannoli. Okay, like I said, one is just better than the other in this batch. The Izmir smells very summer, daytime, um, fancy affair. Oh my, I could see a man wearing this on his daytime wedding day too. But I, I wanna wear this too. This doesn't, I, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. This isn't a masculine fragrance. It strikes me as something I would love on a man, but I would wear this too. It's very refreshing, great. Okay, so the lawn guys are here and that means the dogs are going to bark you're going to hear lawn mowers you're going to hear all kinds of other stuff so i'm going to stop this one short but we're going to dig into this guys holy cow i'm leaving this here and i'll do another video on this this is incredible i'm i'm loving this house you've got to check this out and if you guys haven't subscribed and you keep coming back to watch my videos hit that subscribe so I will see you in the next one. Mwah.